Hello everybody, my name is Gather and welcome back for a new game uh, called Choice of Life Middle Ages. I found this game on Steam, uh, it was about four bucks. I bought it, boys. Nothing really uh, crazy about the price, so I said, why not? Right? I was looking for a game to play in the meantime because I don't have anything to play. We're pretty much in a dead zone right now in terms of summer, right? Uh, usually in summer, there's no games coming out whatsoever, not really anything interesting. So we're gonna be uh, stuck for a while with uh, different types of games, uh, I could say. So it's gonna be definitely interesting. Uh, this game is a choice matter type of game, which means uh, every choice you make uh, with a bunch of images, there's gonna be a bunch of images and you're gonna have to choose basically, make choices and it's gonna reflect on our lives. So it's basically that type of game, boys, and it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be fun. Kind of wanted to play this game for you guys. Uh, first time for me for playing this game as well. Full screen, yes. Music, uh, why not? Is the music too loud? I'm not too sure. Let me actually maybe up it up a, a notch. As it is for the rest, I think the music is fine. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, right uh, go right into it. So as you can see, this is. Uh, exactly how it's gonna be looking this nice drawing behind and stuff I like it I like the way it looks and everything it's a pretty simple game I don't know how long it is you just have to find out boys but it's just like different types of games I'm gonna try and get uh, throughout the days to try and play like different stuff and all so this is the first one uh, once in a distant distant kingdom an elderly peasant woman worked in the field all right uh, she digs into the ground until she finds a vial decorated with letters. The vial be uh, bewitches her with its beauty. The peasant woman admires it, twisting it in her hands, ex accidentally breaking it open. Okay, that's kind of weird the way they phrased it, boys, but alright. I mean, they were talking about her breaking a bottle and all of a sudden I'm born. How does that happen? I'm not sure, but let's keep, co uh, let's keep it going. Uh, you were born into a peasant family in the Middle Ages. You have 11 brothers and sisters. Wait, 11 brothers and 11 sisters or 11 in total? Uh, I hope it's not, the, uh, it's not the, the former because if that's the case, that's a whole lot of children to, uh, to feed, boys. I'm just saying. How will you get the others to pay attention to you? Lie to them or cry in the cradle? I guess I'm gonna lie to them then. Lie there, there silently. Oh no, okay, lie there. They don't mean like lying, they mean like staying still, okay. I'm actually gonna just stay still. There we go. Wait, you lay so still that your mother does not notice you and covers you with bay? The hell? I mean, I guess if we're 22 children in the house, one that stays silent all the time is obviously gonna get ignored, obviously. Makes sense, boys. We lost our heart because of that. This year turned out bad for the harvest. Children get very little food. Eat only your portions or fight with brother for food. I'm not gonna fight with anybody. I'm only gonna eat my portions. And now you don't have enough food to grow. Man, I only have one heart left. I'm gonna die right away, boys. Damn, that's rough. Uh, you awake at night from a rustling noise outside your window. Suddenly... A wrinkled um, hand reach, reaches through and uh, begins to touch the bed. The hell? Pray and treble in the corner. Hide away? I'm not gonna pray. I'm gonna hide, boys. A hand grabs your brother and abruptly disappears, retreating out of the window. What was that, boys? Alright, well, you have grown a little. You are now big enough to work. Your parents send you uh, to help in the um, field with the other kids. Uh, lays or work? What's uh, what does may uh, what does lays mean, boys? I'm not sure. I'm gonna say work. I guess I'm gonna work hard. Why not, boys? You know what? Let's work hard. I died. Well, great. I I didn't know that working didn't mean that it meant that you were gonna die. You work with such diligence and dedication that you break the plow. Father is furious and beats you up. All okay. So my father killed me basically. Well, that's just great, isn't it? 
Now there's a voice talking to me. A living soul for the first time in so many years. Who is it? No, wait, where, where the hell am I? We're in limbo. It's somewhere between he heaven and hell. So I'm actually in limbo, boys. What is this? You know, I can bring you back to life but only if you'll agree to help me. Okay. Help you out exactly. Is that a trick? I want to live too, but I can't go back without my body. I see. So you want to take over my body. So it's... It's basically... We're basically playing... Uh, Ghostwire Tokyo all over again, boys. It's the same game. Different, uh, just different look. My body is in the king's treasury. Help me find it when you come back to life. Really? But won't that risk me getting killed again, though? I guess I'll agree. Why not? The spirit guides you to the light. I came back to life, boys. What do you know? I imagine we're living here because it's the peasants, right? We need to go to the castle and find the, the, the guy's body. And then uh, to fulfill like our promise and everything. Interesting. So, oh, I'm coming back to life again. Okay, so no. I didn't came back to life as, a, as with the same body. I basically got re uh, resuscitated, boys. Interesting. So, um, I am guess... Uh, I've got 11 brothers and sisters once again. That's a lot of mouth to feed. Yes, it is. What is that exactly? Unknown. We've got titles that we can get and everything. All right. Uh, crawl or light it. I'm going to crawl. Now we got, you crawl behind the stove and touch the pipe with your hand. Now it is decorated with an inverted hate burn. Ooh, that hurts, boys. That hurts. At least I'm, I don't, I didn't lose a heart. You're a curious child. You want to crawl around the house and bite everything, but it is dangerous. People do not pay attention to you and do not look under your, their feet. Uh, if I crawl, it's going to be dangerous. I should probably sit in the corner, boys. Not going to lie. Let's sit in the corner. You sit in the corner and do nothing. You do not learn anything new. But I don't hurt myself, at least. I mean, it, at least I am not getting hurt. Uh, you are thinking about your future. It's time to learn a new skill. Speak or walk. Which one is going to be more valuable to me, boys? I think... I should learn to walk, to be honest. Let's let's learn to walk. There we go. Congratulations. You can now die in a bunch of new ways. What? What does that mean, exactly? Uh, you meet a stray dog while walking near your house. I don't know if we come closer to the stray dog, boys. Let's not move. I don't think we can trust the stray dog. Uh, let's not trust it. Don't move. I lost an art. You stand and look at each other. A month later, the dog gives up and leaves. You meant to tell me I had to go look at the dog. I mean, wasn't that dangerous? I don't know, boys. A father, you ca a father caught you and sent you to work in the field, but you are too lazy to plow. Put on the horse still or drive the plow? Last time I did, I tried something like that, boys. I ended up dying. It's kind of dangerous. Uh, let's try again, though. Let's try it. Drive the plow? You plowed all day. You don't, uh, you don't like the thought of having to work like this your whole life. Well, you know, that's just how it goes. Uh, while working in the field, you bump into a teenager hiding in the bushes. Call the adults or find out who it is. You know, I'm kind of curious. Why would I call the adults? Ain't nobody care about them. Uh, we're gonna, we can find out for ourselves who that person is, boys. No problem. Is there anything else we can look at? The beginning. Oh, interesting. I think we can just literally start wherever we want, I guess. Interesting. Let me just find out who that person is. Item receipt. We got a, we got a dollar, boys. We got a coin. A bear 14 hands you a, market, a marked coin and asks you to keep it. Yes, specifically asks you to not give it away. Interesting, but it looks like a coin I could exchange for some food or stuff, boys. I don't know. Your lazy cows walked into the her uh, hurls field. Let it wander or scare the cow with a stick to get it back to home. I'm going to let it wander, boys. The Earl imposes a heavy fine on your family. 
Your father is almost bankrupt. Well, that's not my problem. All right, it's not my problem. He should have um, put the fence a little better or closed the fences a little bit better. It's his problem if he's not good at his job, boys. The Earl has uh, called your father on a march. He will be gone for several years. Without him, the house fell, uh, falls into dis disrepair. You have no way to pay the rent. I think I'm going to stroll through the village. I don't think wandering about in random places is not going to be good. I'm going to uh, stroll through the village. You do nothing and nothing happens. Amazing. Well, what do you know, boys? I'm going to keep it, uh, uh, keep it uh, s simple, really, for this life in particular. I don't want to die again. Uh, you see a piece of rope lying by the river. Pick up the rope or lie a rope to a tree. That sounds ominous. I'm going to pick up the rope, boys. La uh, later, upon arriving to the tavern, you trade rope for the food. You dine well that evening. Nice. So I got a plus, uh, plus one of our art, boys. So gained an extra heart from that. That was really great. Uh, you reach an old inn. It's dirty inside. The innkeeper looks at you questionably for the, from the dimly lit room. Uh, order a stew or ask about a job. Well, I could ask about a job. Would give me money, right? You know what? Let's do that. Let's ask about. Uh, uh, let's ta ask about a job. Why not? Can't hurt me, right? The innkeeper calls for him. Uh, you have an interview. Nice. There it is, boys. I mean, that's much better right here. The, uh, he points at the huge, dirty cauldron in the middle of the kitchen. It needs to be clean. Scrub the, scrub it di diligently, or pour water into it and pray. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna scrub it. There we go. You tear your hands bloody. It's good you don't get infected. Oh, wow. All right. The cauldron is still dirty. Scrape the cauldron. I'm gonna scrape the cauldron and again. There we go. The dirt, uh, the dirt begins to recede. Uh, the innkeeper li likes clean cauldron and takes you to work. Well, there we go. So we got a, we got a job, boys. That's all that matters. It's all that matters is for us to get a job. All right. So many visitors gather in the inn. Suddenly, you hear someone calling out, and turn to see a mysterious stranger beckoning you. You are sure you never met them before. Do I come up to them, boys, or pretend you don't notice anything? I'm gonna pretend to not notice them because I don't know who they are. They might be... They might have connections to my old life with the father and everything situation. We all know he's bankrupt. He's got problems with the, uh, with the city, the village. Uh, I don't want to have any more problems that I need to. So, you know, let's not... Uh, let's pretend to not notice anything. You ignore the stranger and try to stay out of sight for the rest of the evening. Yeah, there we go. Much better that way, boys. Uh, prevent anything from happening, anything bad from happening. Uh, the next day, the innkeeper decides it's not not profitable for him to keep you. You're out of work. Wait, I only had a one day one day job, really. Uh, I express dissatisfaction. Quietly leave. I'll just quietly leave. You hold your anger back and you do not argue with an innkeeper. Yeah, you know, it's it's business, I guess. Uh, you are you're asked to remove stones from the fields. They will pay you. If I move stones from the field, they will pay me. I'm going to agree. Money, money at all costs, boys. You're um, a snake lying around under the one of the uh, stones bites you. It's a pity that insurance has not yet been invented. It is a pity. But uh, you're a desperate hunger and you have no money. How do I not have money? I got... Didn't I get paid for both the jobs I did? Am I getting screwed here? Your family cannot pay the church uh, tight. Uh, you need to work off the debt. Uh, till the fields for the church. Or help tell the meal. I'm not gonna go for the church. Even though the church could be very healthy. Or I think that would be community work actually. You know what? Working at the church is usually community work and they don't pay you boys. So let's just go ahead and go at the mill. He's actually gonna, uh, the guy there is actually gonna help, uh, pay me at least. The work was hard, but you paid off his de the debt. There it is boys. Yeah, I think I made the right choice right here. We still have that coin by the way. Uh, is there anything else we need to worry about here in the city itself? I guess not. All right. 
You go into the forest to find some food, eat the roots, eat the berries. I'm not gonna eat the berries. The berries is very dangerous to eat that. You don't know what kind of berries it could be. Let's eat the roots, boys. It's much uh, healthier. I de I'm dead. Great. Never mind. It turns out that the roots were bitter. You suffer from diarrhea. I died from diarrhea, uh, diarrhea, boys. I cannot believe this. First I get beat up to death by my own father and then I die from diarrhea. Great. Green cards show you have a, a, you a known result. Blue cards may have a different result, all right? Well, we start on the, over again. What do you know? I'm actually gonna, I'm kind of interested. Uh, I don't know what that means. Beginning, peasant. I don't know what that means exactly, boys. You know what? Let's start. Let's start uh, right there. Oh, it starts from the beginning all the way to the start. Oh, okay. So that starts all the way from the start install and all. Okay. That's the one I chose before. I'm gonna cry this time around. Your mother takes you in your bed and uh, breastfeeds you. All right, there we go, boys. Yeah, we're making we're gonna make a different choice this time around. Last time I ended up to a dying twice. It's not good. Uh, eat only your portions. I'm going to fight my brother for the food now. Brother gives you a serious crashing. We're great. Either way, I was going to lose then. Uh, pray and triple the corner. I'm going to hide away again. Just like last time. I am not going to work. I'm going to laze. Uh, when everyone leaves for work, you visit the fair in the village. All right, there we go, boys. So... Much better this time. We're not actually getting killed. We lasted longer. Uh, so the fair is very likely. Uh, lively, uh, lively. On the left, you watch someone climb a pillar with their bare hands. On the right, you see a crowd of peasants. They look like they're waiting for something. Stand in the crowd or climb the pole. I have a feeling that something bad might happen. Let's climb the pole, boys. I'm dead. Again. So I died for a third time, boys. I'm the mo I'm the, I'm the worst. I'm nearly the worst. Almost the, almost at the very top you slip, falling and break your neck. Oh wow. All right, boys. Well, we're back to life. Uh, same thing. I decided to make the same decisions. I didn't show you. It was basically the same dialogue for the guy in the uh, in the other world. So whatever, boys. I don't know how I managed to die. Again, like for the third time. How many times am I going to die in this game? What is going on, boys? Uh, let's crawl again. Actually, you know what? This time around, let's... No, let's crawl. Let's still crawl. There we go. The important thing is my heart doesn't go down. Uh, we're going to sit in the corner. That was the right decision last time. I'm going to learn to walk. There we go. I am going to uh, go closer to the dog, actually, this time around. Uh, close up, it becomes clear that this is a very dirty child on the old floors. You are, you now have a friend. Well, there it is, boys. So we're friendly. Uh, we have a friend in uh, with. A, we're friend with. Uh, <laughs> we are friends with a dog, which is very nice, very uh, very awesome. Now you and a friend arrange an imp uh, impromptu knights tournament. Which woman, uh, weapon will you choose? A bow and arrow or a sword? I'm obviously going to go with the sword, boys. You know my aim is not the best, so I'm going to go with the sword right here. The friend did not come to the battle. Considering this, your wooden sword really seems intimidating. Yes, it does, doesn't it? Uh, you have grown a little and now can play with the kids on the street. Great. Do I play tag or hide and seek? I'm going to play tag. I think tag is better than hide and seek, boys. It's much more fun, to be honest. Let's play tag. I lost an art somehow. What, did somebody push me off a cliff or something? What happened? You're hit. Uh, you're hit every, one, every round. The other kids decide to beat you because of it. Unbelievable. What a bunch of jealous assholes. What is this, boys? Alright, I'm gonna drive the plow. Just like last time, because I know that's the right thing to do. Uh, while working, you bump into a teenager. I'm gonna find out who it is. He's gonna give me a coin. I'm going to let the, the cow wan uh, wander about. 
Because if I do this, we might not be get bankrupt. But then again, I might die. I'm gonna let the car wander, boys. It is what it is. I'm gonna stroll through the village again. Alright, so now what happens? There is a fair in the village and you decide to attend. Alright, new thing. That's actually um, different from the last time. Uh, do I start dancing with them? Or do I calmly inspect it? I'm gonna calmly inspect everything. There we go, I got your heart from that. You listen to the min uh, minstrel and laugh <laughs> heartily at the buffoon. Good. So we gain an extra heart from that. I'm gonna ask for a job. Uh, once again, boys, I'm gonna ask for a job. I've got an interview. Pour water into it. I, I do know the last time I got uh, lost an art from that. I'm gonna pour water into it and pray, I guess. You fill the cauldron with water, but for what? All right, cauldron is still dirty. Uh, I will scrape the cauldron. I'm gonna scrape it. The dirt begins to recede. There we go. There we go, boys. So it, it did work. I managed to do the job. I'm in. Uh, I've got the job now. It's probably gonna let me go just like last time, though. But uh, we'll figure out. We'll figure that out in another time. Uh, we are gonna pretend to not notice that guy, and we're gonna quietly leave because obviously he lets me go, boys. We come towards the woods again. You end at the riverbank in the evening. You see a lunch, a hunched over silhouette, moving about uh, about on the silty stone, the uh, silty stones. Come closer to the silhouette, or call the guards. I'm calling the guards, boys. You return to the same place with the guards, but the silhouette has disappeared. Well, that's just great, isn't it? I don't know who that silhouette was, boys, but at least I wasn't gonna go uh, at it. And the last thing I want is for me to endanger myself. Uh, we are gonna wander through the village once again. My stomach is rumbling. I'm gonna pick up the rope. An extra health from that we know uh, we, can, uh, we were able to exchange that for food, which is fantastic. We're gonna eat the berries this time around and we know the roots are infested. They're not good. They're gonna give me diarrhea, so I don't need that right now. Let's eat the berries. Extra health. You eat ripe cowberry, cowberries. Great, so I... See, the thing is why I didn't want to go for the berries the first time around is I thought it would not be the right kind of berries. I guess it was. Uh, while wandering through the forest, you stumble upon a mound of dirt. You decide to dig it up with your hands and find a bag of coins. Help the family or go to the inn. I'm gonna help. You know I gotta help the family, boys. I gotta help the family. Even though the father is not the best uh, in that scenario, I gotta help him out. So I'm helping them out, boys. I'm a family man, I guess. Interesting. So that's a new title I've got. You pay the Earl in gold instead of servage. Now your family can pay a brief easily for a while. There it is. Help out the family, boys. Now what? Walking through the forest, you notice a peasant. He appears to be hunting. Inform the guard. Hunt, hunt with him. I'm gonna inform the guards again. The peasant is punished. Now he knows to not to hunt in the Earl's lands. Exactly. You damn right. I'm a snitch, boys. It is what it is. Do you remember our agreement? Oh, that's the guy in the uh, the thing, right? How do I get to the treasury? Exactly. Well, first get into the city. The king lives there in this castle. All right, got you. So I gotta first get into the city, obviously, and then I'll have access to the treasury. I, I didn't forget about the treasury. It's just the game doesn't give me doesn't give me an option yet to go there. So you know I can't go there yet. You go into the blacksmith's house. He will agree to take you on if you can pass his test. Choose theory, choose practice. I've always kind of been a theory type of a guy, boys. Practice was not my uh, my thing, so I'm gonna choose. Uh, I'm gonna choose theory. The blacksmith asks you a question. When should you strike the iron? Uh, iron? Well, while it's hot, obviously. Right, yeah, that's pretty obvious, isn't it? Anybody knows that. Uh, what is iron's melting point? Uh, this one here, the temperature has not yet been discovered. Uh, yeah, temperature has not yet been discovered, I'm pretty sure. 
Right, yeah, exactly. So that was the right answer. Yeah, temperature is not a thing. Um, so that was not a good question. Now, a question about history. Which of the ancient gods was a blacksmith? Dionysus, boys? Or uh, Hephaestus? I'm not sure which one it was. You know, I could literally cheat and look up through Google, but I'm not going to do that, boys. I'm going to go with my guts. I think it's Hephaestus. Right, I got it. There it is. I, I went with my guts, boys. I, oh, I, I knew it was Hephaestus. I, like, I remember that name. Alright, so I'm a master blacksmith as well as, as being a family man. Would you look at that, boys? I'm a blacksmith now. I can make um, weapons. Uh, he accepts you as an apprentice. It turns out that the other candidates were no good at all. Alright. Uh, we've got the map. Next chapter. Let's look at the map really quick. So we can look at the map. So now we're a blacksmith. We skipped that right here. We skipped right through that, I feel like. So now we're into that chapter right here, which is great. So we are now a blacksmith. Let's uh, enter the next chapter, I guess. Now somehow by entering the next chapter, I lost two hearts. Which is kind of bullshit. I wish we could uh, keep the same hearts, keep the same amount of hearts, boys. That would have been great. But uh, I guess that's it's fine anyways. Either way, I still got three hearts. So you have worked for a blacksmith for a year. And I've learned a lot during this time. I'm going to rest or take a serious order. I'm going to take a serious order, boys. You ask the blacksmith to give you a serious work. The knight orders a bastard sword. The blacksmith entrusts this, to order to you, uh, this order to you. Nice. So I am actually under... I'm actually working for a knight now. I'm giving a... Uh, building up a weapon for a knight. Uh, prepare. Ta uh, take the armor. I'm gonna... I'm gonna prepare. You have asked the blacksmith many questions about forging technology, but all you can seem to recall is that it needs a uniform cross-section and a sharp hardening. So you have warmed up the iron blank. How do you? How will you shape the blade? Forge along the length, or tap only on the edges? Uh, I'm gonna tap only on the edges. There we go. Strange blade. You tap the blade uh, around the edges. It looks not ordinary. Okay, interesting. It is time to harden the blade in water. Do you know how to do it? Uh, lower the blade entirely. Lower a little bit. Just a little bit. There we go. So you slowly lower the blade into the water. It crackles. The water uh, uh, hissing with steam. This is the work of a master. There it is. I know what I'm doing, boys. Look at the weapon. It looks like um, a Turkish type of blade right there. Interesting. You wrap your masterpiece in fabric and you are, re and are ready to complete your order. Tell the blacksmith that the order is ready. That you ruined the order? No. The order is ready. Low quality sword. Alright. The knight receives his blade but soon returns it with complaint. He has never held a worse weapon. Reputation is ruined. Well, great. Look. I tried my best, alright? I thought that blade looked great, to be honest. It doesn't need to be an actual sword. You didn't tell me you wanted a sword. You tell me you told me you wanted a blade. That's not the same thing. Whatever, boys. The blacksmith is overcome with sorrow and decides to go and drink his trouble away. The next morning, you, do, you discover he has drowned. Well, I guess my master is now dead. Uh, leave the forge or stay to work. I'm gonna stay to work. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be become better at the uh, better at the profession, boys, and end up doing a lot of this. So yeah, let's stay to work. You had no relatives, so nobody is against you to staying to work in the forge. Exactly, it becomes my place basically. I'm the owner now. The ghost of the blacksmith visits you at night. Jump out the window? Absolutely not. Find out who uh, what it needs. Trembling with fear, you ask what the ghost wants. The ghost is silent. After a moment, he floats to the corner of the room where you collected, uh, you've collected all the blasphemous things. Search the things. Ask more. I'm going to search. You begin to frantically dig into things, feeling the ghost's gaze on you. Alright. You search the blacksmith's belongings and find what appears to be a letter. 
Upon closer inspection, you realize that it is the blacksmith's will. The ghost nods approvingly. Grab the furs? What would I need that for? You know what? Find the address. The, uh, the address. Yeah, why not? We're gonna find the address. Uh, you promised the ghost you will find the address. Uh, after asking the locals, you find the address. Give a letter. Communicate. I'm gonna communicate it for them. The young man does not know the blacksmith. Although he is very much like him, you hand over the letter and return to forge. Return to the forge. All right. Uh, the ghost returns in the next night. You inform him that you fulfill his will. I guess. I, I I will ask for a reward. Obviously. The ghost makes a stern face and floats to the door. You realize you have to go. All right. Now you have nothing. Well, great. Wait, I just left. I didn't need to leave because of a ghost, but I guess whatever, boys. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna end it right here. We're gonna continue our story in the next video, boys. I hope you enjoyed this first part. That was quite interesting, that's for sure. Quite an interesting beginning. We died three times. First time seems to be the right time, though. We're doing pretty all right so far. We uh, were a blacksmith for a while. Uh, we made a, a bunch of money. We actually repaid the debt that our family had, so... We're doing all right for ourselves. We're doing all right. So remember to do the like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for our next one. Keep it easy.